Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with another Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus. This video might be the last one for Turolf's Path for right now, so after I'm done with him, I shall move on to the next boy. Until the next build comes out, which will expand hopefully day two, and then I'll go right back to Mr. Handsome over here. But anyway, guys, let's jump right into it, shall we? We will load. As you can see, I've got to replay Lakes. Uh, story. That sucks, but, you know, whatever. Blah. Okay. Let's do this. Wait. The autos? That's a bunch of auto saves. Okay. Um, okay. Alright. <clears throat> Finally, I find a button that opens a menu with all the major objects in the solar system. Obviously, including Saturn. Hmm, maybe it is easy after all. After a bit of struggling with the interface, I finally located Saturn in the night sky, and managed to point my telescope roughly at it. I battled with the equipment for a bit before I noticed the smaller finder scope attachment to, at, the bottom of the, at the top of the tube. That helped a lot. Now, all that's left is some fine adjustments with precise knobs of the tripod, and tel the, tripod the telescope is standing on, and everything should be ready. Pretty! I lean in and look into the telescope. In the middle of the image, there's a rust-colored orb with a ring around it. I was expecting it to look like a flat image, but it's very real and three-dimensional. The planet casts a shadow on one side of the rings, and there's a thin shadow of the ring on the planet itself, too. It's not too big, but I see it very clearly. Okay, that was something. I look up at the starry sky above me, dotted with twinkling stars. Saturn is now only a pale dot, tiny and distant. It looks nothing like the massive planet I saw just a moment ago. And it's one pale dot among many. Carvin? <clears throat> Lake? Carvin? Would he get mad if I booped him? Because I really want to boop him right now. He wouldn't even see it coming. What's up? Well, I saw you standing here alone, looking at the sky, with a really nostalgic look on your face, so I came to see what's up. Oh, I was just in awe at the size of the universe, that's all. Maybe felt a tiny bit of melancholy. That's really nice of him to come here and ask me, though. Yeah, I felt a bit of that, too. To be completely frank, that's in part also why I came over. Huh? Aren't you with Jorgen? No, he said he wants to stargaze in peace, without me pestering him, so I went ahead and took a telescope for myself. I'm all finished with the assignment, though. If you need some help, then I'm here. That's nice of you, but I finished just a moment ago. You can still stay, though. Everything is more fun with company. Nice! He looks genuinely happy to be here with me. Or maybe... Or maybe just be with anyone. <clears throat> Let me see if I can remember his voice real quick, Professor Arn. How are the two of you doing? Do you need any help? Oh, it's you, Lake. I hope you're doing well. Yes, Professor. Actually, we're already done with the assignment. Good, good. That's pretty much all I had planned for this lesson, so you're free to play around with the telescope now if you want. Feel free to ask me any, any questions, and have fun. Man, he stresses me out so much. Really? He seems really tame and cool. I thought so too at first. If we're done, though, how about we look at some more planets? Sounds fun. I wouldn't know what to look for myself, so your knowledge will come in handy. Great! Oh, by the way, who are you staying with tonight? Oh, I hoped he'd forget about the whole thing, but not this time. But I could never lie to him. Well, he found out anyway, so that would be just plain stupid. I didn't ask anyone yet, but I want to ask Torolf after we're done here. Ah! Oh, I hate that face! Oh no! What have I done? I have sent the kitty! T Torolf? You know each other that well already? Well, kind of. Maybe. I hope so. Hmm. Oh well. I'm certainly curious what his response will be. I'm really counting on him. If he declines, I'll just think of something very quickly. Hmm, 
I think Miko would be up for it. I know he took a room alone. I don't know if he has a free bed, though. Maybe that wouldn't be a problem, depending on how close you two are. Well, not that close. I don't think so. Still, worth a try. Now, let's find some more planets to watch. Okay, he took that rather well. At least, outwardly. Okay, it looks like our time here is up. Thank you all for attending the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe even gained a new passion. Supper is already waiting for you in the cafeteria. You're free to take it with you and eat anywhere you like. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for joining me, Lake. It wouldn't be half as much fun without you. No problem. I hope I didn't impose on you or anything. No, don't worry. If I wanted some time alone, I would have told you. Anyway, I'd better go find Torolf now. I'm off to catch you, Organ, then. See you later? Sure. Later, Lake. Lake walks away, and I sprint back to the guest house before the queue to the door before the queue to the door forms. If the supper is already served, then I bet I bet Torolf is either in the cafeteria or he grabbed his meal and went somewhere else to eat. My bet is on the latter option, but I'll check the cafeteria first before everyone coming before everyone coming back from stargazing gets there. That's really pretty. There's some students already sitting inside, but the room is mostly empty. To the right of the entrance is a table with food. Paper plates with sandwiches and cakes are taking half of the table, and a few dozen and a few dozens of water bottles are standing in rows next to them. I look around the room for Torolf, but to no avail. I'll grab the food later. For now, I need to find that tiger. <clears throat> Turning around, I see a person I haven't seen in quite some time. Travis. Weird, I didn't hear him at all. If I hadn't noticed, I'd have walked straight into him. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Hey there, Carvin. You're not eating? Oh no, I mean, yes, I'll grab the food in a moment. I need to find someone first. If you're looking for Miko, then he should be here in a moment. I think he's still talking with Bjorn outside. Not this time. I'm looking for someone else. Who's that? Maybe I've seen them on my way. Torolf. I'm not sure if you know him. Hmm. No. Sorry. Good luck with that, then. Keeping my fingers crossed for you. Thanks, Travis. I move quite slowly, walking against the small crowd of students heading to the cafeteria, but I finally make my way back to the corridor. Let's see if I was right. <clears throat> Hell yeah! Kitty! <laughs> Carvin? My bet, my, so my bet was correct. Somehow, I knew he would come here, to a less crowded place where he could also play some music. He's sitting in a chair drinking water, his plate yet untouched. Hey, do you mind? Well, how could I say no to such a, to such cute company? Stay. Of course it's always good to see you. I sit on a chair next to his and rest my paws on my knees, not really knowing what to do with them. By the way, do you know if stargazing is over yet? Yeah, we just finished. Aren't you going to the cafeteria then? I am, but I wanted to find you first. Oh, why me? I, wait, I don't think you know... About what? So, I lost the key to my room today. Of course, I went to look for it first, and notified the guesthouse staff. They couldn't get the spare key from the office due to the heavy snowfall, so they could either put me in some random room for today, or let me ask around and choose myself. I preferred to ask myself, so... Here I am. I'm asking you. Can I stay in your room tonight? Oh. Oh. You didn't ask me if I have a spare bed. Oh, you're right. I kind of assumed you did. Almost all the rooms here have two beds, or at least the ones I've seen. You said you had a single one, though. I, I did? Maybe I did. Yeah, you're right. Say, if I only had one bed, would you still want to stay in my room? I... maybe? I mean, I haven't really thought about it. I saw that eyebrow. I saw that eyebrow raise slightly. I do have two beds, though, so that's not an issue. Something tells me it won't be needed. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a naughty one. 
You can join me. Sure. I just need to cancel something, and we're good. Torvald takes out his phone and starts tapping at it. Meanwhile, my stomach reminds me that maybe it's time for some food. I'll be right back. I'm off to grab my supper. You know what? I'll be in my room then, and you can join me there. Unless you prefer to eat in the cafeteria. No, I'll get the food and eat with you. Can you give me the room number, though? Right, it's room number 16, on the first floor. Oh, that means our rooms are next to each other. It doesn't really mean anything, but it's an interesting coincidence anyway. When I get my room back, Torolf will be just behind a wall. Okay, I'll see you there then. Torolf only nods, and I get up from the chair and walk back to the cafeteria. There weren't many students in the cafeteria anymore when I got there. Only a few chose to eat there, and the rest either finished already or took their food with them. I hoped that I'd encounter Miko or at least Lake there and tell them goodnight, but from the students I know, only Rune and Jorgen were there at the time. They were busy talking with each other and didn't notice me, though. I grabbed one of the last plates and left. Oh, Garvin. Have you seen Rune in the cafeteria? Yeah, uh, he was there with Jorgen. That's good. By the way, who took you in for today? Torolf. I'm heading to his room right now. Torolf. Ah, yeah, him. I didn't know you two were friends. Okay, then. It's great that you found something yourself. Have a good night. Good night, Devin. Devin walks through the door outside, disappearing into the night. Room 16. I glance at the next door to the right, leading to my room. And that is where I am going to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Oh yeah, you know I'm going to end you on a cliffhanger. Because I had three seconds left, and this is the screen it was on, so we're ending it right here. <laughs> anyway guys, I'll pick it up in the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!